welcome to Morning Inspiration with just Jocelyn. I am so excited that you guys have joined me on my channel. <laughs> and if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the notification bell so that you know every time that I post. And also go ahead and hit subscribe. <laughs> um, and if this is your very first time on my channel, let me explain how it works. All right. So as God gives me inspiration through the word, I share that inspiration with you. And it is my hope that you would Put your beliefs and put your feelings in the comments so that we can talk and grow together. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and go into God's word. On today, we're going to be looking at a very special scripture, and I love the Psalms. So a lot of times we end up looking at Psalms. And uh, we're looking at Psalm 103, verses 10 through 11. Again, that's Psalm 103, verses 10 through 11. And it says this. He does not deal with us according to our iniquities. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his steadfast love to those who fear him. Mm. Amen. <laughs> and there were two things that I looked up. Um, I think it's important that when you're studying the word of God that you always look up words that you kind of, you know, you sometimes you have words you're kind of like, mm, I'm not really sure what this means, but I heard it means this. But when you look up the words, sometimes it really gives you a new meaning. And so two of the words that I looked at in this uh, was iniquities and also steadfastness. And so iniquity, transgressions, and sins are also always talked about in the Bible. And so in this case, and they're kind of, they seem to be like the same thing, but they're actually a little bit different. Iniquity has to deal with a sin that is intentional sin. Like you're doing that thing on purpose and you don't even care. It even refers to some dictionaries that I looked at refer to it. And Webster says lawlessness. Like you're like, whatever. I don't care. Whatever. Whatever. This is just who I am. I'm just going to do it. That's what iniquity is. And so in the scripture, when it says that he does not deal with us according to our iniquities, that's a blessing. So then things that we do, we just like, man, this is just who I am. So I'm just going to do it. And also an iniquity is sin, like I said, that you don't, that like you haven't repented for. So you just kind of like, whatever. And so that's a blessing, number one. And in the second part, it says, for as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his steadfastness. And steadfastness is, I looked that up in dictionary.com and it said committed, it said loyal. But one of the things that I saw also that it said, it says firm on purpose. So his love is on purpose, even though it is such a contrast to how um, the sins that we c commit. And in this case, um, the iniquity that we commit on purpose, don't care, lawlessness, I ain't repenting, this is just how I am, this is my character. But he is giving to us a steadfastness, a firm love. Ooh. So again, I'm going to read that again. So two things. He doesn't deal with us according to our iniquity, which is a blessing. But instead, he looks at us in terms of the steadfast love that he can give to us and for those who fear him. So, y'all, I don't know if you can see it, but God has mercy on us. He knows that we are not perfect. He knows that sometimes we just do stuff that we're in our business doing. We do stuff that's immoral and we do stuff that that is against his word. But when we ask for forgiveness, when we come to him, when we come to him, he still gives us that love. He doesn't love us with conditions. Oh, she committed that sin. Oh, she's being lawless. Oh, look at that iniquity. Mm. Yep. Not going to love her. No, not going to love him. No, he doesn't think about it like that. Again, as I always say, he desires to have a relationship with us. Now, case in point, there are consequences to sin. That's just the way it works. So you might do something, you might not get caught. Oh, thank you, God. You do something, you do get caught. He's still worthy. It's just a consequence of your sin. His love is not attached to his love is not attached to your consequences. 
So he loves us regardless. At the end of the scripture, it says, for those who fear him. His steadfast love is for those who fear him. So if you're a believer, you're believing in him, you're loving and you're seeking, and then you commit those sins, he loves you. But there are consequences to sin. And that's not... That's not a, a, a reflection on how much he loves you. Like, oh, he got away with it. How come he didn't get this right here? Or she got away with it. That's not fair. How come they didn't have to deal with it, but I got to deal with it? You got to deal with it because it's a consequence of your sin. All right? And I don't say you as in you judging you. I'm talking about myself as well. There's stuff I just have to deal with because I know it was my fault. Amen. Amen. This is a tough one, but the overlining thing, y'all, is that God loves us. He is a merciful God, and he desires to be close to us. And I will just say this, y'all. Just continue to pray and ask forgiveness for sin. That's why Jesus died. He knew we weren't going to be perfect. So um, trying to hide our sin from him and, you know, or feeling like, you know what? I just keep messing up, God. I just know you ain't going to be, you're not going to forgive me. No. He is a forgiving God. He is a loving God. And we have to work on, sometimes we don't, we don't want to forgive ourselves. And we don't understand that God's love is unconditional. He forgives us. He just wants us to come and run to him first. Seek you first, the kingdom of God, and all these things will be added unto you. Amen. Amen. Let's go to God in prayer. God, we thank you so much for your steadfast love, Lord God. Your unmovable love, Lord God. Your firm on purpose love, Lord God. God, even in the midst of us breaking laws, Lord God, and our sin, Lord God, you still have mercy on us. Mercy on those who fear you, Lord God, and come to you, God. And we just thank you so much for that, Lord God. Lord God, I pray for my brothers and sisters who love you, Lord God, and are running out this Christian race. I pray that you encourage them, Lord God, and keep them, Lord God, in your joy, Lord God. Keep them in your peace, Lord. And God, I pray for those who do not know you, Lord God. I pray that they would just know that all they have to do is just to ask and receive, Lord God. All they have to do is believe that your son, Jesus Christ, died on the cross for their sins, and then you rose him up again, and then they are in the family of God. <laughs> and I'm so happy to uh, just welcome them in. And for those of you all who have not received, please know his steadfast love is waiting for you. His arms are open for you if you would just believe. And I know it might be hard. I'm not sure what you've gone through, but please know that you can trust Jesus. You can trust God. And God, we just thank you again for this day. Keep us, protect us, and help us to be all that you called us to be. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, that is our morning inspiration. You guys be blessed and have an awesome day. Bye.